everyone, here we are with Robin Ford, author of Stephen, uh, Stephen Gee's Dark Tower, The Complete Concordance. We are adapting it, and then I will say this in Spanish, of course. Yes, uh, she signed already the pages, we have it in Buenos Aires, so the book is about to be out. And we would like to know if you're gonna, we're gonna have more comic books about adapting the Dark Tower. I would love to do more Dark Tower comics. Right now it's on hold. Um, we're waiting for the big news about the possibility of a TV show. So, fingers crossed the TV show happens. I think that will be amazing. I think we'll have such scope to explore the Dark Tower story. So, I'm hoping for that. And we're just, I, I think the fate of the comics depends a lot on what happens next. All right. And another medium, I can't say a lot, but keep your fingers crossed. So Watch this space. We, we call, know soon. We could off, we call off the, the next question was about the Dark Tower show. Ah, yes. <laughs> you cannot tell about anything. You also wrote about Mr. Mercedes Concordance. Yes. Uh, it was given away by, for the ones that do not, doesn't know, this uh, Concordance. It was free to Stephen King website a couple of yeah. time, uh, years ago. Uh, we would like to know more about the project since it wasn't that shared. And oh, it's sorry? very interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you can tell us more about this Mr. Mercedes Concordance you built. Yeah, it's interesting because it started out um, as a project uh, for the, it was going to be something small for the website. And then um, Stephen King found out about it and he said, oh, I like that idea. So I just started to build it and it, it was going to be a bit of a promotion for um, the books. And then as I started to build it, what happens, I got so interested in the books and I just, it grew and grew and grew, which is, I guess once I start, I can't stop. <laughs> and I, I spoke to Steve about it, he liked it. So it kept, it originally, like I said, it was going to be something small, but then it ended up being about those, those three interrelated, interrelated books um, about Bill Hodges. And he's a wonderful character. And you and I have spoken about yeah. our love for Bill Hodges. You'll and have to update it. Because yes, now. Well, actually, um, a few, oh gosh, it was over a year ago, um, Stephen King did send me The Outsider, and I think he was thinking, oh, maybe she'll add to it. I didn't in the end because um, with the publication situation, um, I didn't think that the publisher would want me to update it, you know, because you know it was given away for free and I just thought oh I'll, I'll wait but I did love The Outsider so we have so to please Holly was we about. have to push Stephen King in order to get it updated then. yes well actually <laughs> Steve would be very happy I think it's just the publication you know the, the publisher I have to speak to to say can I update this and to um, because it takes as you know with writing any book like this it takes a lot of time so um, I'd need for them to agree to that it would go on sale right yeah Right. And, you know, we're hoping there is a chance that I'll be able to get, because right now it's just an e-book. So they're, um, printed? Yeah. There oh, is a nice. chance, a small press edition of a printed version, which I would love. And I'm hoping if I can do the printed version, I will update and do the outside. Cemetery Dance, yeah. limited Cemetery edition. Who I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they've been interested. The, they've been very busy. They've got so many projects coming. Yeah. And they're a press that's done amazing things. We are slaves of Cemetery Dance, basically. I, I send them money every single month because oh, they announce so many good projects. They do amazing <laughs> yeah. projects. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're, they're, Stephen King is such a big supporter, and he's been a supporter of theirs from the very beginning. And so he does all sorts of, you know, projects like Wendy's Button Books. You know, Wendy's Button Books, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. So, uh, he, well, King usually replies to Rich Chisma. He's, yes, he's a friend, they are friends, yeah, yeah. Friends. Well, um, so well, we'll have to wait for Mr. Mercedes printed edition to the Cemetery Dance, limited edition. All right, all right. But it's probably going to be a while because they've got so many things on, on well, the plate. Well, during the... Uh, in the introduction for the Dark Tower Conquer Dance, Stephen King tells the story of how this project to help him ended up being published. Yeah. So I imagine, uh, what was your reaction when Stephen King told you, okay, we should publish this? It, I was so surprised um, because it really was, it was done for him and it was, it was a labor of love. It was, it was quite an amazing process that as he was writing the books, I was getting the manuscripts and installments so I was following every fan at story. this moment is yes. hating you yeah, and every <laughs> it, was, it was incredible because I was living in the world with Stephen King and in that world what was amazing because I was a fan of his so when I would see him I'd be completely tugged I'd be like blah blah <laughs> what do I say 
But when we were writing back and forth and he'd ask me questions about the book or he'd send me things, we were equals. We were both traveling through Midworld and we were both living there. And as every King fan knows, as every reader knows, when you fall into a book, you live in that world. And that's where we were. And it was amazing. It was an amazing process. And um, I felt incredibly lucky to be there and to be doing that. And when I was an undergraduate and when I, I, I studied English and studied English literature, but one of my passions was folklore. And what I wanted to be was a folklorist. My parents said, you'll never get a job. What are you talking about? And English it was always like, okay, you can do English, but you know, it's better than folklore. But in the end, I saw this, this chance to be a folklorist in Midworld. And that's what I wanted to do. So in a weird way, that thing I wanted to do is what I got to do, not in our world, but in that king world, the king universe. So it just, it, it suited me down to my toes. <laughs> it was what I'd always wanted to do. So, um, and, I, and I've always fallen into books. I love imaginary worlds. So to be able to map an imaginary world was amazing.